All right, here we go. We're gonna get a pause at twenty seconds, right, Steve? Yep. All right, let me let me wait that out because uh, you you don't do you should you throw up the screen first when it when it pops out of the ninety seconds? Say that again now. When 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 it when it is spec buffering, are you do you pop up the screen? Do you show it during spec buffering? Mm, I, I pretty much throw it up as soon as uh. There we go. I throw yeah. it up as soon as like the countdown is is done okay. on there. All right, cool, cool. Um, but anyway, all right, I'm so at my twenty second. So me, we're, we're me as good. well. And there's no annoying saucer shooting sounds. So this is going to be <laughs> bracket AJ of the semifinals between the green player on the left side, Illusion in the Void Warthog, pretty much what he's been using the entire tournament, and his opponent, Polar Bears, in the Meta Gospry. Same exact thing. These people practice with one thing in mind and typically st stick with the same mechs. So it will be Illusion on the left side, Polar Bears, Blue Player on the right side as the Meta Gospry once again. Polar Bears going with Ash. So a very popular choice because of the flight efficiency for. Um, and the recharge speed for 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 an Osprey and Illusion going kind of with a generic Gabe, the pretty much just a flight efficiency negative and doesn't really have too much more uh, you know drawbacks. So it looks like both players are going to go for bottom one more time. Steve, I know you haven't seen any of these uh, any of these players play today. Pretty much similarly to how I didn't see Happy Death or Illusion or sorry Happy Death or uh, Kumi play today. So I didn't know what to expect in that last game. Uh, what I would expect this game, just for your information, is Illusion focus firing incredibly well, but against an Osprey, it won't work as well as well what he did a lot in, to Rex in the last set uh, what was against an Alexi Helix. And against the Lexi, you can easily focus fire things. So uh, I'm not exactly sure if he's going to be able to finish off Polar Bears in the air during some focusing. Um, and Polar Bears is that really, really methodical textbook micro Osprey uh, might be able to handle it easily and, and well. But we shall see. Um, what do you... That, uh, we sh that we shall. And I'm really just looking forward because this is the first time I've seen a Warthog uh, in this tournament. I've seen Angel. I've seen Saucer. But I've not seen a Warthog yet. So I'm oh. always happy and excited whenever I see a, a new mech that someone hasn't used yet so definitely looking forward to that uh take a look at the lodas there illusions got those butchers along with them overall so far i haven't been overly impressed in this tournament anyone that's brought butchers i really haven't seen them really providing any significant advantage but really maybe, uh maybe illusion will um, be able to use them I in a way that other people haven't uh, I mean, just comparatively to what you've seen, Illusion definitely has. Uh, it's if you bring a Longhorn, which Polar Bears does not have, so that's you know just one thing. But if you bring Longhorn, uh, which Rex did twice, the, you know the butchers just rip them to shreds. Uh, Polar Bears is bringing Gemini, so they're much better at countering just because they have faster turret rotation, lower lower weapon, and a higher DPS value, so they kill them much faster. But we shall see if he's able to use it to kill artillery or anything like that. Um, but I'm, I'm assuming Polar Bears is probably going to put down enough defensive Gemini to be able to really handle that. But uh, we will never know until this game starts, which... That is true, and I'm ready it, to start it if you are. All right, Steve. So we will go in three, two, one, go. So there we go. Illusion already bringing down those tanks right off the bat. That way, as soon as the game starts, he's got that support there. Polar Bear's not yet deploying his tanks. I wonder if he's going to get them out before the bell or if he's going to wait until after the bell to get them out. Both of them, as always, is what we typically see going through that bottom lane. Very few, only one person tried to use the upper lane today, um, which I'm surprised that not more people have been trying to use that upper lane oh, to catch really? their opponent off the guard. I didn't see it at all. Yeah, I, I don't remember no who it was, but I, there was one person that was started to go up a lane, and then in the end, though, never wound up going that way. But right, right. Well, yeah, I, I'm, 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 a little, I'm a little jealous that you got to see that variety because every single Twin Peaks game for me has been bottom, bottom fight. There has been a couple of a uh, cool back and forth pushing when Illusion was fighting Tamil. Uh, it was really cool. Um, that, you know, and I think it also happened with Polar and Big Boss when they were playing. I'm not exact. I don't remember off the top of my head, but uh, yeah, Polar Bears right now slightly ahead in terms of unit upkeep, but that's because Illusion dumps a lot of his credits into abilities just because he's really reliant on that focus fire of that Warthog. Right, and I mean, if you really get the Warthog up to a certain point, I mean, it can really oh yeah the fact that you're missing two or three tanks off the field. It, it and really cannot feel it because it can handle it itself. And honestly, in, in games of this nature, um, it really is worth it just because they're so kind of uh, standoffish. So you don't really notice the the difference oh, in, oh, in unit oh. presence as much. And Polar oh. almost getting fin focused by oh. Illusion, and oh, uh, Illusion's oh, probably going to have to... Uh, oh my ah. god. Ridiculous. <laughs> 
but that's crazy, crazy. But he's almost caught back up in unit upkeep as well, 17 to 18. So yep. he actually has all those abilities of his mech online, but is not hurting as far as his unit upkeep goes. Yeah, that's actually what I noticed when he was playing with Rex a lot, uh, playing against Rex. Um, he was able to sustain, that's what I was kind of mentioning, that even the really, really early game is when you're going to not really notice, or is when you're going to really notice those those credits gone. But uh, he's been pretty good at spacing it out. It's 19 to 21 right now, so and he has a lot of money invested in abilities. But then again, so does Polar Bears in, in a way. He has a 2 one, one whereas Illusion has 1-1-1-1-0-0-1-1. One, 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 zero, zero, one, one. So uh, I, I feel like I'm talking to a computer right now, Bye, but yeah. either <laughs> yeah, yeah, but uh, but either way, uh, Polar Bears and, and Illusion are pretty even. I really do want to see if Illusion can utilize that Focus Fire the way that he utilized it against Rex. Um, and unfortunately, I don't know what we're saying because I haven't seen those uh, matches yet. So I would love to just see it, just to see it for the you know the OP that it can possibly be. Uh, but I knew what you were gonna say, Steve. <laughs> I knew what you were gonna I, say, and you held back. I, I'm proud I of you, buddy. I did, I did, I <laughs> to not do that on an official carbon sponsor tournament. Oh, oh! That, that's, you know... Uh, Polar is going top, so yes, that's the is. first time I saw that uh, today at all. Oh, well, there you go, you've seen a little... Oh, look, he even did a little dance for you there after he destroyed that <laughs> neutral. Did you see the way he did, like, a little circle dance? He's like, yes, oh, I you did, Steve. This yet? Uh, are yeah. you saying that he did it specifically for me? Because it's very thoughtful of him, if that's true. Illusion really don't help many get oh, finished oh, off by Polar Bears. No! Oh my god. He's gonna turn it. No, but he doesn't pursue Polar Bears. He could have easily pursued Polar Bears and got the kill because Polar Bears' life was so life was so low in the, in the oh, process Illusion of kind of kill. Polar Bears is not here to respond to Illusion. Illusion kind of overextending himself. Will Polar Bears be able to get this finish? No, he does not notice that Illusion is low on health. Hilarious. <laughs> Just getting out of there, just, I mean, as if he almost had like a, 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 a sixth sense, he knew right when to get out of there. Gets out of there just as Polar Bears is getting up uh, and walks away scot-free, getting that tank kill and not any real repercussions behind it. Taking Polar Bears away getting another being able to get that top. Getting another tank, using creeps to supplement his attack and all that stuff. Uh, Polar Bears taking the top. I don't know if Polar Bears is going to be able to hold this, though. Let's see what he's at in Q. He has two two Gemini. Oh, boy. Will he be able to hold this? That's the question. Oh, but really on health. Will Illusion be able to get this Focus Fire on him? And Polar Bears not getting finished off by Illusion. So Illusion, actually, if, if Polar Bears can hold this, this is going to be huge. Um, and Illusion really, really needs to get this neutralized to happen. He does, and that he knows it, and that's why he's completely focusing on it. Neutralizing out, trying to bring in creeps of his own to take it back over, or at least keep it out of the hands of Polar Bears so he can't heal, regenerate and support his units. Um, both doing the exact yeah. same thing, bringing up some creeps. They really both want to take this outpost under the control. Who's going to get it is the big question. Polar Bears looks like he's going to get it first, but will he be able to keep it? Polar Bears really on health, and oh, oh, oh my oh. god, it's so close. Oh, oh, that was Steve. a sliver of health left, man. S Steve, man, I'm going to... Oh, but but uh, Polar Bears has been able to um, leapfrog his tanks to the other side of that top post, and he's been able to get it pretty much uh, guarded, and uh, has enough Seekers there to keep Illusion away from using his Warthog to pretty basically snipe units off left and right. And still had enough jammers down on the bottom that his bottom lines are not crumbling. He's got three jammers on the bottom, so... Yeah, I mean, all this artillery fire that's coming in, it's making no real significant progress on anything. And giving Polar Bears all the time, all the opportunity that he needs to secure this top outpost, putting him in a major advantage on this map, uh, especially on Twin Peaks, uh, and not losing the bottom lane in the process. Because, I mean, I'm sure you've seen it all the time, RUI, when people focus on the top, they, they lose the bottom lane in the process. And oh, you yeah. don't want to do that. And these players, especially Polar Bears, really, really good at multitasking. Uh, so he was, oh, and he's now going to start to bomb down. Where is he going to go? Oh, he's going to go for a generator kill. Interesting, but Illusion three able to save it. And three bombs for a generator. I'm actually surprised that he devoted that much uh, credit for just trying to take out a single generator. And he's now going to salvage it. Oh, salvage I think, oh, he with that level up. Oh, my God, that oh. level up pretty much saved him. I didn't think that uh, he'd be able to survive that attack, but the level up gave him the extra life that he needed. And at this point, he is at a pretty significant advantage against Illusion with the three bombs again and able to uh, get a little bit of salvage. The fact that he keeps salvaging right the end. Look at ama that amazing air dance that he should have been dead, and yet he gets back to his the power station, which the power station heals and regenerates much faster than the other ones do, and it keeps the power online longer, I've always noticed. It just, man, I mean, this is unbelievable. High I mean, if you guys want to see high-tier one-on-one play, you're seeing it right now with these two players and what they're doing for you guys. 
So Polar Bears is doing, uh, you know, what Rex pretty much should have done. Rex flew a lot in straight lines. Polar Bears is zigzagging like crazy, and whenever he needs to avoid Illusion, he's pretty much staying right on top of him. So Illusion can't really focus him down. So whenever he's just, whenever he's trying to fly away, he just pretty much flies wherever Illusion currently is, and it's really, really hard to hit, the, uh, you know, your enemy mech, especially as a Warthog, when they're literally right on top of you. Uh, that is true, and I mean, he keeps timing it out just perfectly, like, once again, it should have looked like that Illusion got the, the kill, and Polar Bears at the very last moment gets over his outpost, heals up, walks away, and unfortunately, with the way that Polar Bears is, is handling his mech, he's taking the one advantage that the Warthog has, and he's completely neutralizing it. I do want to point out, though, that Polar Bears is pretty behind in upkeep, and I think that's heavily due to the the bottom not really getting much attention and uh, Illusion having a lot of artillery pouring in, and he, Polar Bears is just slowly, slowly, slowly using, lo losing units at the bottom. Uh, you know, it just depends on the luck of the, the jammer deflection, but uh, yeah, if Polar doesn't come back and heal some stuff up and pay attention to the bottom, then he might lose a significant amount down there, although he is decisively winning this top fight with two Berthas, three Berthas firing in, Illusion not with too many units over here, no healing units, which is a little bit surprising to see in an artillery fight. Um, yeah, and then, but at the same time, that's why Polar's is losing the bottom. He only has one healing unit, and that's it. So he's losing the bottom due to no healing units, but he's winning on the top. The one thing I'm really was surprised about is that his Bertha, he didn't put the one Bertha onto one of these sockets right here to get that extra damage and shot and abilities from it. Like he like almost seemed like he purposely made sure to avoid the socket. And that's the only thing that I was actually surprised about. Like, why would you avoid getting that, that, that you know, upgrade to it basically? Um, I think it def definitely did have to do with positioning. Oh, an illusion already deciding to push out. He definitely has a unit advantage down here, and I'm pretty sure he's going to be able to steamroll this bottom outpost uh, unless Polar Bears can really, really produce. Either produce units or take illusion on himself. Without mech support, Polar Bears should come out on top. But right illusion now, has that hog. Well, he's back now, and he's here to support his units. 55, oh, 55 to 52 at this point. Illusion with his ultimate ability, and he will be able to, I think he'll be able to, to win this bottom fight right now. Um, oh, it's pretty close. It's pretty close. Uh, if he could have gotten a, a, a neutralized, that would have been huge, but his artillery that are point uh, that are back here are not actually connecting with Polar Bear's units, and Polar Bear's, oh, almost getting finished off, and there he goes, getting killed by an Archie yeah. Aggressor. No first blood this entire match, almost nine minutes in, but at least we have a first death. But, I mean, that death is exactly what Illusion needed right when he needed it. Completely neutralizing out this bottom, taking it out, even getting a few units that completely went past. I, I mean, they're not going to last long about against the creeps. It's amazing how quickly those creeps can kill off Geminis. But oh, I mean, yeah. at least now this puts Illusion back into a fighting chance where now, you know, wh what's going to work out to be better? Polar Bears from this top and leapfrogging over? Or does Illusion hold back long enough and push through the bottom before it's too late? Because right now... <laughs> Oh, we've got, we got three ratchets that are coming into the main base, but they've really, most of the units on the bottom are gone from both players. The Red yeah. Polar Bears actually, in a way, almost has the advantage because he has more attacking units on the battlefield, and they're closer to a fortress. Uh, but Illusion is still winning in unit upkeep. A lot of it is idle in the bottom outpost. Uh, Polar Bears is now pushing out. I don't know how well this is going to turn out for Polar Bears. Uh, it probably is going to be able to t take this close outpost under his control. Uh, Illusion repositioning his artillery. He needs to use his ultimate to distract the, those 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 uh, those tanks coming in. Polar Bears has done a mass hold, so he will be able to maintain his position right now. And there is a jammer in this in this club. But Illusion, if I were Illusion, I would just jump, yeah, straight yeah, in with his guns. Oh man, he's just ripping That's it up with. Maximum upgraded guns as a, as a warthog, and he, uh, he can do even more now. Uh, he's at 53 to 34. Uh, he is about even at this top fight with, or at this left side fight with Polar Bears, um, bringing a lot of tanks. But Polar has a longer ferry distance than uh, than Illusion right now, and Illusion will be able to clean up the rest of these tanks against Polar Bears. I think, if I had to make a guess. I mean, even if he does it right now, I mean, a lot of Polar Bear's investment is those three Bertha Cannons. Oh, and he's pushing out. Almost completely wiping everything out. Well, he had to push out because he's going to lose it to the Bertha Cannons anyway, so you might as well at least let them do a little damage and uh, soak up some damage so that way you and your own mech can do something about it. But, uh, I don't know. I mean, for a huge investment there, there's really not much that's left. And, oh, Polar Bear puts one of his units too close to the edge that it actually just self-kills yep. itself. And now the air to ground mode focusing on the jammers themselves so that way he can get that out of there. 
Oh man, this is this is crazy, but he's lost control of the bottom right outpost at the same time. And here. Polar is already pushing out. This is pretty much an all-in. Uh, if he can't get this finished, then Illusion is probably gonna win this game. Uh, but Illusion has no units to support over here. He might want to bring some back. He he's already has his ultimate ability um, uh, off cooldown, so that's one thing he can use. He uh, has four artillery. One of them is a Bertha in defensive position. I don't know how well this is gonna actually play out against Polar Bears. He really, really wants the kill on Polar Bears right now. That's what he's going for. That's what he is, and he activates his ultimate ability, but he stays in the air, used either trying to shoot polar bears down or use an air-to-ground mode, which really kind of took away from the effectiveness of that ultimate ability. Polar bear is so close to death. Can he dance out of it once again? He dances out once again. I don't know how he. Oh, but he's gonna go down right now. He's gonna go down, and that's it with a bunch of tanks in his cargo. But wh where is Illusion? Where? What is he doing right now? Why? Oh, oh uh, this is gonna be it. I think this is gonna be enough. His his uh, his ultimate is almost off cooldown, and once it does, he's gonna be able to clear. He really needs a neutralize on this outpost right now. If polar bears can't come back to an outpost that's his own, which he probably won't at, at this point because there he's still go. respawning. And there you go. He has the focus down. So he, yeah, illusions just gonna be able to clean house right now. Uh, he is taking a little bit of damage from that Bertha. Uh, polar bears comes back, but to an outpost not under its control, and he's kind of screwed. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's trying to use his energy to just keep that Bertha Cannon alive. He completely wipes out his energy in the process, so he's really not going to be able to even try to retreat. Um, or he... Never mind. <laughs> he gets up just enough energy to retreat, but even so, I mean, yeah, with, if he can't get that outpost back under his control... Which he's uh, trying to do right where, now. He's trying, but it just... Uh, with those two Geminis there, they can work on trying to neutralize it back out quickly. Can they neutralize it quick enough, though? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so, but Illusion might be a little overextended here. Probably needs to start retreating. All right, there you go. Um, uh, and does go right back down to neutral. I mean, he had his artillery pointing in already, and Polar Bears is at a 16 to 34 disadvantage at this point. Retreating all the way back to that top outpost, and it does look like Illusion's probably going to be able to pull this out and uh, overtake Polar Bears back from his close. Uh, that it will, and I mean, that was a really close one. I mean... For a lot of people, that could have easily been the end of the game. Illusion so close to death, but once again, I mean, these guys are so well practiced, so well aware of like every little ounce of damage of what does what, that they know how to push it to the limits and still walk away and survive and keep firing in. And it's just been unbelievable so far. Oh, Illusion's gonna go down to Polar. Oh my God, um, that's pretty huge as well. And Illusion saying no, no. Uh, but I don't know if Polar can really do too much with this. He's okay. He's gonna start focusing on taking the bottom outpost back. But all he has in his in his uh, cargo is oh, two Seekers and a Gemini. Uh, finishing off one weak one, but uh, yes, uh, Illusion still respawning. I mean, I'm sure he's maximum parted out. So every death is a crazy, crazy, crazy amount of time and, and credits. Um, he is coming back now, trying to do whatever he can here. Does act his ultimate one more time going for the neutralization which is probably the right so, move there's just so much units that polar bears was already able to get down and yeah and that's that the thing neutral, he's gonna be very vulnerable to that many gemini shooting in uh this could basically be, almost be like a complete wipe and reset to like the beginning of the match where both these guys are going to lose like almost everything where the only difference is, is that they're, they're at like level 11 instead of level one well, with well, the big difference that the upkeep right now is 40 to 7. So, uh, Polar Bears is way behind. He has virtually nothing on the field. The top outpost just has a Bertha and a Jammer. Um, I'm even a little bit surprised that he has 7. Um, I, I, I figure he might have a little bit oh. more. Oh! Fantastic cliff fall that stay, uh, take out his opponent, stay, stay in the game, get wow. more opportunities to do damage. And I mean, the thing though is that there is a lot of Illusion's upkeep that is devoted to artillery. There are two Berthas and three Archies out on the field. Yeah, he does have 11 Geminis too, but there is a lot of that upkeep that's being devoted to, you know, stuff that may not, that basically makes his numbers look like he might have more stuff on the battlefield than he really does. I'm suspecting Polar Bears might get finished off right now. Really, really trying to dodge Illusion's fire and... Oh, oh my god. That survival skills, that aerial control flying around. If you guys have always wondered why is this, how do, how do I stay alive when people are shooting me, Polar Bears are showing you guys right now how to do it. If Basically, you're not watching, learning, studying, and taking notes, you guys have no more excuses anymore because he is showing you all his tricks. Yeah, basically a clinic on how to escape. Um, right, if you if you take a look at Illusion's uh, abilities right now, it's you know he has pretty much every single thing. I'm a little surprised to see that Polar has not put any money into his um, his ultimate ability, the Heal Nova, which is really really great. Um, whenever you're using it uh, for healing pretty much anything, any group of units. Um, 
it's really, really effective in a push. It's really, really effective in an artillery fight. And uh, yeah, just a little surprising to not see it. But the Illusion uh, just really, really abusing the fact that his Warthog ultimate can just make him invincible. Polar Bear's trying to keep up here, and Illusion can, uh, can't afford to just throw away a lot of units just because he's so far ahead. No, he can't. I mean, it, it, still, granted, it's a two-to-one advantage, but I mean, Polar Bears is in the process of recovering, and Polar Bears is someone that you do not want to give an ounce, an inch to, because if you give him an inch, he'll take a mile from you. Exactly. And that's uh, I mean, basically what's happening. I mean, Polar Bears is fighting his, his way completely back into this match, and like you said, that's even without his ultimate ability to really support these tanks, because I guess he's probably devoting most of his credits to really getting his, his, his units back out on the battlefield, and maybe he might upgrade it afterwards, but I mean, taking a look right now, even at a two to one unit upkeep, I really don't feel like Illusion is that a massive advantage at this moment. Yeah, I mean, a lot of his upkeep, I mean, he finally did start to bring his artillery that he had all the way back. Oh, oh and he oh, get, go down one more time. No, he survives. No, oh, he, oh, he ultimates up to stay alive because he knew he wasn't going to make it. Wow. Well, Illusion has a lot of upkeep still back here. One Gemini and one Bertha back at, at the fort, and a crap load of tanks sitting at his close outpost. And he can just move them out, really. And I think, actually, even if he just moves out everything he has at his close outpost, uh, you know, supplements them with the tanks that he has at the bottom, he could probably roll over everything that, that, uh, that Polar Bears has right now, just because, the, you know, the, the difference is so gigantic. Polar Bears, again, pretty low on health. Oh, man, will he be able to survive this? Illusion chasing him down. Oh, no, Illusion yeah, didn't go for out. the chase. Weird. Um, I so think right now, right now, is starting to get a little bit worried about the fact of all these units that Polar Bears is starting to get out on the bottom. I mean, if they're not handled properly, it could really turn into a bad situation. Polar Bears finally now gets two of the three levels on his ultimate ability. This could potentially really start opening up a little something for an Osprey if it's used right. And let's be real, this is Polar Bears. He's going to know how to use it right. Um, I, I still just, I mean, I, I know it's a thirty-unit difference, but because of just how many Berthas there are. I mean, let's look. Eight Geminis is 17, uh, but there's six more in the queue. All right. I mean, Illusion might start becoming a, a little bit more dominating of a position if Polar Bears can't get more Geminis out on the field in a short amount of time. Yeah, and, and right now, because he has the top outpost, he has a higher income. And Illusion finally using those uh, units that he has at his close. Uh, Polar Bears dodging Illusion like a boss, like crazy awesome so well. Illusion now already leapfrogging to attack that close outpost. Polar Bears just sees it now. I don't know if he can actually defend against this. Uh, Polar, uh, sorry, Illusion with his Wardog Fire will probably be, oh, well, okay, yeah, there's definitely way too many tanks over here for Polar Handle. Uh -huh. Way too many, and I mean, if he does it right, I would say, then again, no, he lands and he starts using that heal ability. Two of those tanks have already gone down. I mean, that is one ability of the Osprey, but Polar definitely is going to need more than just that few small smattering of units uh, if Illusion keeps these units pushing on the full way. Um, and I think Polar realizes that, whether or not he pulls units back, or actually, no, he's going to pull He's gonna pull back. He realizes that it's not the right time right now to try to push forward. It could cost him the whole game, and he's going to hold. Well, because, because he lost that outpost, though, he is over his unit cap, and does it look like Illusion is moving in the, uh, through the bottom. Uh, I don't know how smart of a move this is, but it's probably okay considering how far ahead he is. It's probably going to net him less than um, Polar Bears will lose, but because he's so far ahead, it's probably still a good move. And it activates oh, that ultimate ability. And oh, he and he did stop him. him. Wow. Wow. So that way really? now they're all working together nicely. That, that was the perfect stop at the right time. He didn't get every unit, but he got enough of it to make it count. And right now, we're just seeing what is superior: that open, that warthog in the, that cannon of devastation, or the osprey in the heel. And we're seeing it right now because we are now in late game. Uh, that warthog just—it's just oh man, it's so much damage that comes out. Yeah, it's a little bit too much for a Polar's here being the handle. How he, however, he has been able to retake that close outpost under his control. Um, Illusion, though, it's still at a, a massive, massive advantage. Still trying to get po fo Polar Bears focused and might actually be able to do it. I'm not really sure. Oh, man. Uh, I don't know. His aim seems a little bit off. He was dead on. Yeah, he was dead on when he was trying to do it with Rex. And Illusion is the one that goes down. Oh, man.
And he drops the derp. Uh, yeah, but it's still 50 to 30. Uh, Polar Bears is on the ropes. Oh, he is now pushing out. It is definitely the time to do so when Illusion is off the field. But how long is it going to take for him to respawn? Sometimes it takes He's upwards of back. 20, 25 seconds. Yeah, it probably is buying back. All right, there you go. Um, but Polar... He knew that he had to get back out on the field and he bought back before uh, it was it's too much time for him uh, being gone where he just loses too much. Because right now he is an advantage, but if he took too long... Uh, with someone like Polar Bears, Polar Bears will take back the entire map in like a fraction of a moment. Uh, yeah, and it kind of shows right now what she's doing. Oh, Illusion's also pushing out, bringing more supplementary Gemini. I think this is actually going to be Illusion's... Uh, oh, does another mass hold? I kind of wanted to see him push through, especially with his ultimate ability that he hasn't... That he, you know, is off cooldown right now. And actually, he just activated it now, but I, I think it was actually a better choice for him to hold those units there. If he would have tried to push through, he would have suffered much more losses. Oh! And the ground to air finishes off Polar Bears in his liftoff, and that's about it. That's about it, Steve. Well, Illusion, yeah, does realize that. Gonna start moving out, and uh, yeah, Polar Bears has nothing left on the field. It's 51 to 10. Um, where is even the 10? I don't even... Oh, it's all in his build queue. In the build queue. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, and Illusion <laughs> yeah. says, damn, I'm not really sure. And dropping the GG already, uh, although that is an early GG, it's not really BM as it is very, very obvious right now. Uh, Polar Bears will lose his close. Just gonna, he's gonna try to uh, defend against uh, this push. I don't know. It's it's kind of just what you have to do. But there's almost no way he's gonna this be able to survive this. Exactly. Dropping yeah. the heal Nova, but already in a domination state, and that level 15 hog just melting tanks like ridiculously. And that is it. Polar Bears going down. Uh, Illusion taking game one of bracket AJ of the semifinals. Um, really, really crazy. I'm a little surprised to see that he uh, he barely was ever able to kill Polar Bears in the air. Um, I mean, Illusion, really, really well known as a very, very great Warthog dogfighter. Very, very good at focus firing. But Polar Bears with his dancing in the air, with his dodging, it was ridiculous. I, I learned... Not necessarily learn, but I just witnessed like really, really, really great um, uh, escape skills and dodging skills from Polar Bears. Uh, ha unfortunately, it wasn't enough, and Illusion was able to take game one. Uh, so, so guys, we are going to get into the second game of Bracket AK, game two of Happy Death versus the Kumi.